Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. Now, I am presenting you this uh, 40 years old female lady who presented uh, last week with the severe painful congested left eye. There was a history of uh, cataract surgery three months back uh, and uh, for the last one week uh, due to use of inadvertent use of uh, steroids betnisol and uh, other breadfort uh, she has developed a steroid induced end of thalmitis the eye was uh, anterior chamber was half filled with pus uh, and uh, there was mucopurulent discharge uh, poor fundal glow and she was in extreme pain so we injected her uh, intravitreal antibiotics, uh, subconjunctival antibiotics and even peribulbar uh, antibiotics as well and give her oral steroids. And now after one week uh, uh, we have injected her two, two intravitreal sessions on first day and then on after 48 hours on alternate day but uh, the eye was uh, not improving and uh, the pus in the anterior chamber also increased and uh, the eye was unable to open now after a week uh, uh, she presented uh, with uh, history that symptoms have resolved and now eye is able to open she is on systemic antibiotics and painkillers and along with topical antibiotics so now when I examined the eye I got happy with the history that uh, maybe that uh, uh, end of thalmitis has been improved but when I saw the eye you can see now you can clearly see that the cornea has melted and it's also a case of pseudo cornea and uh, you can see the iris uh, and fibrin fibrinous uh, exudates uh, above the iris uh, giving uh, appearance uh, false appearance of the cornea so that's why the pain has resolved but uh, the vision is uh, NPL non-perception of light uh, and uh, you can clearly see now we have the options of either 360 degree conjunctival fly because you have to uh, cover the defect the corneal defect or you can go for EV sedation with implant and then cosmetic prosthesis later on so sometimes these uh, and of thalmitis they are so severe and fulminant uh, then you get uh, such pictures and uh, though the pain the symptoms have resolved but uh, only ophthalmologist uh, can see that uh, irreversible damage has been done so take home message from this case is that uh, even after three months of uh, successful phaco emulsification and vision was very good uh, if you use too much steroids uh, that can lead to corneal abscess and uh, end of thalmitis. We should taper off uh, po post op uh, steroids and antibiotics uh, and should not use it more than four weeks. So, that was the take home message.